Hi, I'm Davers, and this is Thursday on Project Life Guys. As some of you may know, just over a year ago, I was diagnosed with some medical issues that uh, have changed my life for the better. I have type 2 diabetes and I also have high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Um, so I had to start eating a little more sensibly. This was pretty new to me. Um, I never really worried much about what I ate at all. After taking some classes at the local hospital, I came to the realization that all three of these health issues are closely tied to my weight. One of the first things I found out uh, after my diagnosis was that uh, there's a good reason that a lot of Americans are overweight. It's much more expensive to eat right than it is to eat easy. Anyway, I recently received an email um, kind of interesting, at least to me, um, graphically showing how much sugar there is in various food products. Um, it may, kind of made me wonder why they don't do this, something as simple as this, on the food labels instead of all the uh, rigmarole and seriously, if you're going to do it right, you just about have to take a calculator with you to the store just to uh, be able to transpose the data that's on the label into information that'll really help you, you know, and let you figure out just what's in something. Anyway, here's some of the pictures that uh, were in that email. The first bunch is pretty much obvious, um, high sugar content. Snickers has over 13 teaspoons of sugar. Starbursts have over 11 teaspoons. Skittles have over 11. A milkshake has over 27. A McFlurry has over 18 teaspoons. A Coke has over 9 teaspoons. And the Cinnabon has over 13 teaspoons. Now that kind of surprised me that there's half the sugar in a Cinnabon cinnamon roll than there is in a milkshake? Who knew? The next uh, group are, were quite a questionable to me. I, I didn't quite realize the number or didn't quite realize the amount of sugar in these items. Um, a Jamba Juice over 14 teaspoons. Lemonade over 7 teaspoons and Minute Maid orange juice over six teaspoons. Everybody would have guessed that orange juice is good for you, but uh, six teaspoons in a, in a jar of orange juice, eh, it's quite a bit of sugar, especially for somebody like me that's really watching their sugar intake. Now the, the, the last group here are ones that really surprised me. Um, my nephew drinks a lot of Capri Sun. It only has four tablespoons of sugar in it. Whereas a Jamba Juice, over 14 teaspoons. An orange, over five and a half teaspoons. Grapes, five teaspoons. Ketchup, a little over one teaspoon. Same with uh, spaghetti sauce. A Snapple, over 14 teaspoons in a bottle. Sorbet, about six teaspoons. A Starbucks coffee, over 11 teaspoons. And this is the biggest surprise to me of all. Trix breakfast cereal, only 3 teaspoons. So who knew? Anyway, that gives you kind of a different idea of uh, how much sugar is in some of these products. And uh, I seriously... Uh, like the way it's portrayed, you know, it's it's just real easy to look at it, and if there's a whole shitload of sugar cubes there, well, it's not something you want to eat. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, that's it for me this Thursday, and uh, 
This has been Project Life Guys, and I'm gone. <laughs>